Hi everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. Today at Minerva we are launching our whopping 50% off new look pattern sale. So all new look sewing patterns on the site right now are half price, just for a limited time only. Um, and on top of that, as always at Minerva, we offer free worldwide delivery options. And we've actually recently reduced our free delivery threshold in the UK. Um, so it's even easier now to, uh, to get free delivery to the UK. And that's always worldwide for travel delivery that's super fast uh, and on top of that if you're a Minerva Craft Club member you can also get uh, a further 10% off all sale prices on the site so all the new look patterns that are 50% off for everyone if you're a Minerva Craft Club member you'll be able to save a further 10% off on top of that so in today's video I thought it would be lovely to take a look at new look patterns we've hundreds on the website so sometimes it can be a little bit you know overwhelming um, when the sale periods are on because there's just so many to look through so what I've done is I've picked out 10 of my favorites today so some of these are best sellers on the site and some are ones that are just ones that I think are particularly lovely that maybe get a little bit overlooked so um, yeah I've picked out 10 and I've also picked out a, path, um, a perfect fabric to pair with each pattern uh, just to give you some ideas you know the sorts of fabrics that are good for these patterns Patterns, and hopefully just to give you some inf inspiration with these beautiful prints that are all definitely very summer appropriate. So let's get stuck right in. So the first pattern I wanted to share with you is New Look 6651 and as always we'll pop images and the line drawing images where we have them into the video so you can see them as I'm talking about them. So this pattern is a shirt dress pattern that has two different views included. So it has a sleeveless and a sleeve um, and a view with a sleeve. They both button up the front and have um, a, two different colour options. But the bit that's really lovely about this pattern is the detail around the waist. It has um, like a, a deep, like two sort of details at the waist where you thread elastic through, which elasticates it, so it draws it in just to give you a lovely shape at the waist. That's the shape I particularly love. Um, and yeah, I think it would just still be really lovely and comfortable to wear, you know, that bit where it draws in, it's elasticated so it'll move with you. Um, and yeah, it's just a fabulous shirt dress pattern. This is definitely a popular pattern on uh, the Minerva sewing community. So in terms of fabric recommendations for this, so the fabric it recommends, there's loads of different ones. So we've got chalet, chambray, cotton types, crepe de chine, gingham, lightweight denim, linen blends, poplin, shirtings, loads and loads of different options. But basically you want uh, a non-see-through, um, light to medium weight woven fabric. Ideally something that's not too stiff or structured would be what I would choose because you want it to be able to draw in nicely at that elasticated waist. So the fabric I've gone for is our beautiful 100% cotton sateen fabric and this one is our secret jungle print, isn't that gorgeous? So I think with this, um, you know, the fact that you've got, um, you know, an, an interruption at the waist, you've got the buttons down the front, so, you know, there are seams interrupting it, you know, don't think you need to, need to worry about pattern matching with this print at all. It's 100% cotton and it's beautifully soft and silky so it's going to feel gorgeous against your skin and it's going to keep you you know cool and it's going to be lovely and breathable when it's a little bit hotter um, but I mean I think that will be a lovely dress to wear all year round as well you know you could team it with tights and boots in the winter as well and maybe a cardigan over the top um, and yeah with it being uh, you know a non-stretch light to medium weight woven it's perfect and even though it's cotton this is our cotton sateen fabric so it does have a silkiness about it so it has an element of drape even though it's cotton which I think that would make it beautiful for that cinched in waist detail yeah I think that's going to make a really perfect um, pattern and fabric combination so the next fab uh, pattern I've got to share with you is New Look 6616 and this is a really gorgeous uh, dress or jumpsuit pattern. So there's actually three different views in this pattern. So view A is um, like a longer length dress um, that has a tie detail around the waist, um, thin little straps and really quite simple, it's got like a flared shaped skirt so it will skim nicely over your hips and that tie detail at the waist is what just draws it in a little bit at the waist but obviously you know you can you can switch that so it's nice and comfortable um, each, uh, each time you wear it. 
Then view B is a jumpsuit, so it's very very similar to view A, certainly in the length as well, um, but it's obviously a, a jumpsuit as opposed to a dress. It still has that lovely tie detail around the waist. And then view C is a short jumpsuit, so perhaps a romper you might call it. Um, and that one actually comes without the tie detail at the waist, so that's a little bit of a looser fit. And I imagine you could do that, you know, you don't have I wouldn't think you'd have to add the tie detail around the waist to the other two views as well if you just prefer, you know, a looser fit that doesn't cinch in at the waist so loads of options in the one pattern and I just think that would be gorgeous to wear in summer the longer length jumpsuit especially I really really love um, yeah and I just think it'd be wonderful for summer now fabrics that this pattern is suggesting are batiks chambray cotton types gingham linen type shirtings so again you know you want a light to medium weight woven fabric doesn't need to have any stretch um, but I think something, well I, I personally think linen is just made for this pattern and the version that's sewn on the envelope there that does look like a linen they've used. So I think our linen and viscose blend fabric will be wonderful for this pattern. It's going to feel gorgeous when you're wearing it in the sun because you know it's lovely and breathable, it'll keep you cool, it has that gorgeous slubby texture that you get with linen um, and because this, so this is our bubble lights print, isn't that absolutely glorious, just perfect for summer. Uh, this one was actually designed by Rachel Parker and it's, it's one of our favourite prints in the collection. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and with this being a linen and viscose blend, the viscose content gives it a little bit of drape. So the linen gives it the body and structure, but the viscose content adds drape to the fabric. Um, so what I think, why I think that would work really well for this pattern is especially for say the skirt version, well the skirt, um, the, the, the trousers of the jumpsuit are quite wide legs so it would hang really well, the skirt you know with it being a flared one would hang really well but that tie option round the waist it's going to tie really well in this and it's going to, you know it's not going to be too bulky where you cinch it in round the waist. So yeah, I think that would be oh, just be a glorious print to wear in summer. Uh, and yeah, I love the idea of the jumpsuit especially, or the dress, but um, yeah, the jumpsuit I just think would be fabulous in that. Next up we have um, a top or a blouse pattern. So this one is number 6891. And this one you actually get, um, it's five different views in the pattern, so you have loads of options. Now all of them come with like a, quite a low, like sort of round, like scoop neckline, which I think is a really, uh, it's a really lovely um, neckline is that, something I like to wear. And um, on that neckline it has gathering details and then some sort of um, like fastening, so there's like either a bow detail or there's a button uh, fastening detail, so you have those different options. Um, then the, the actual top itself is a relatively loose fit. Um, sort of like uh, like a, a you know a blouse or a top, quite simple. But then where all the variations come in are in all the different sleeves. So you've so many about like five different options. So you've got a sleeveless option. You've got a little puff cap sleeve. You've got a little sh just a little short almost version into a flutter sleeve but not quite. Then you have a flutter sleeve which is a little bit longer and quite full, that's really pretty. And then you have a longer sleeve um, which draws in uh, around the cuff. So yeah, some really gorgeous options and I just think that top, it will be something you could wear all year round for a start but I do think it's really lovely for the summer, especially those shorter sleeve and the sleeveless option. It's going to be a really nice simple saw, it's actually rated an easy pattern from New Look. Um, and yeah, it's just, for me anyway, that will be something that will get loads of wear in my wardrobe. And like I, I, with tops like this, I think it's really lovely to sew them in a gorgeous print, you know, that you can team with jeans or trousers or shorts in the summer and you just get loads and loads of wear from them. So fabrics that this pattern suggested in are cottons, cotton blends, silk and silk types, charmeuse, chalice, even jacquard, um, laundered silks and rayons, gauze, voile and linen. So loads of options again and again it wants a light to medium weight woven fabric. I think particularly this, this pattern suits something with a little bit of drape just because of that little bit of fullness in the style, it's gonna hang really nice. And then all those different sleeve options, really, whichever you went for, the sleeve's gonna hang really well in a, in a fabric with a little bit of drape. Um, and then again, around that gathered neckline, it'll gather up lovely in a fabric that drapes well. So the um, fabric that I've chose for this one is our um, viscose chalet fabric. And this one is called Fragrant Field. I just think this is such a pretty, um, girly sort of um, 
yeah just like sort of romantic summery sort of print I think it's really really pretty and um, it has a white background so it's very fresh and then all these different coloured flowers which you can see the brush strokes in the in the um like the textures that are created in this print it's really lovely it's our viscose shelly so as you can see it's really soft and drapey really really beautifully soft and it, again it's going to keep you um, cool and it's going to be lovely and breathable in the sun when it's a little bit hotter um, and yeah I just think it will make a lovely blouse to be able to wear all the time and yeah throughout the year as well that one so the next pattern we've got, so this is another top or blouse pattern and this one actually includes three different views in this pattern. Now this one has a band that goes all the way around the neckline that's um, like a round neck and then the actual top itself, so views A, uh, view A rather, um, is actually like a wrap over detail in the top um, which then draws in around the waist and that has um, uh, a sleeve that has a little bit of fullness now view B, which is my particular favourite, which is the one that they've shown made up on the envelope here in the photography. So this one has this band again, and then it has a little, just a little triangle cutout detail. So I think it's really nice that it works on the cutout trend. Um, and it has a short, um, quite simple sleeve. And then what's really lovely about this one is it's more, it looks more of like a tunic length, which I personally really like. And the shape of the hemline actually goes like this. So it's a little bit longer at the sides and a little bit shorter at the front and the back. So yeah, I think that's really, really lovely. And it's going to be a really simple saw, that one. The only, you know, sort of detail on it really is this bit around the neckline. But I think that's, you know, it just makes it a little bit different. Um, and yeah, and the fact that it's, you know, um, working with the cutout trends that's so popular at the moment, I think that's really lovely. And then view C is very similar to view B, except it has a straight hemline that's a little bit shorter. So if you're not as keen on a tunic length like I am and you prefer a shorter length top, that could be a really good option for you. So this, um, well, sorry, the suggested fabrics on this pattern, so it's suggesting crepe back satin, crepe machine, double georgette, jersey and silky types. So I've again gone for a viscose chalet because I think that would be beautiful for this top. Whichever view you saw, like the view A that has that overlap detail, again in a viscose chalet that's going to hang really well. Uh, view B, those beautiful sleeves and the, um, the shaped hemline. And view C, you know, again with those sleeves, everything's just going to hang really well and it's going to be a lovely, a lovely top that you could sort of dress up or dress down really, I think this one. So the print I've gone for is this um, Fragment Divide, it's called and it's such an unusual print this one so as you can see it almost gives the effect that it's like patchwork pieces of denim that have been stitched together randomly to create an overall fabric obviously it's not pieces of denim stitched together it's a hundred percent viscose which is our you know really soft and drapey um, and yeah you can see the movement in the fabric there um, but the print on it yeah is, is designed to look you know like all different pieces of denim fabric that have been stitched together in all these different shades of denim blue they've got real depth that print and yeah I just think that would make a really lovely top that I would I would wear that every day but I think you could dress it up nicely as well with some lovely jewellery and heels and yeah wear it for a, for a night out or something so next up we have, now this is a unisex pattern and this is number 6724. So this is a great shirt pattern for men and women. And I think what's really cool about this pattern are the humongous pockets on the front. They're huge pockets that are like at the bottom of the shirt. And it's just, I think it's just a, a little bit different. Um, it has, you know, a traditional shirt collar, button up detail down the front, cuffs on the, on the sleeves, um, yes, very traditional sh sh traditional shirt, but what makes it different are those big pockets. I mean, if you wanted to leave them off, you could do, or if you wanted to adjust the size and make them a smaller pocket, you could do, but I do think they're really cool um, as that big size. Um, so suggested uh, fabrics for this pattern, so it says baby cord, broadcloth, chambray, cotton blends, flannel, lightweight denim, linen, linen blends, um, corduroy and poplin. So a huge choice, and I think those uh, fabric suggestions really demonstrate how this is a great pattern to take you all throughout the year. So when it's, um, you know, say like autumn or winter when it's a little bit cooler, you know, you could make it in like a, a slightly heavier denim or a corduroy fabric. 
Um, but in the summer months, you know, you could make it in, like you could make it in our cotton sateen fabric, you could make it in um, our linen viscose blend, you could even make it in our viscose chalet, you know, it would make a lighter floaty kind of shirt. Um, but the fabric I've chosen, and I think this is a great fabric for anyone to wear, and this one is called Brilliant Strokes, and I just love the colours in this print. So this is on our linen and viscose blend uh, base cloth. Isn't that just joy in a fabric? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, for me, I think linen is the perfect sort of base cloth for this, this pattern. The linen giving it that structure, which you need a little bit of for a shirt, um, to, to make, you know, a version that's like the, the one on the envelope there. But the, the little bit of softness from the viscose, it's just, oh, it's just lovely. And the great thing about this print is as well that it definitely doesn't need any pattern matching. And I think that's really helpful, that's really good when you're making a shirt. Um, yeah, it would just be a lovely saw and yeah, I think that anyone to wear that would just be, it's, it's just joy in a fabric, isn't it? Gorgeous for summer. Now the next pattern we've got, this is uh, a really, uh, like a bestseller every year at Minerva uh, and it's a really love, very summery dress I think. So this is number 6372 and this is another one actually that's rated uh, as an easy pattern so that's great. Now you have four different views on this pattern but really there's two views and then each of those two views comes in two different lengths. So the main difference between like a and view A and view C, so view A has a lovely like quite a wide band detail that goes around the neckline and then into that um, the, the fabric uh, is it's sort of like a halter neck so it goes from under your arms here into this band and then that fabric is gathered into that neck detail and it actually has a little slit like a cut out detail, uh, very subtle but just you know coming from that neck band. And then the rest of the dress is very simple, so it, you know, it's, um, it sort of just flares, you know, flares over you, it's not super fitted, um, so you know, it's just going to skim over you, and I think it's just going to be lovely and comfortable to wear in the summer. Now you see, so this one, it has like a little sort of square um, uh, detail, like at the top of the neckline, and again, this fabric comes from underneath your arms, and it all gathers into this smaller sort of piece at the neckline. So it's a little bit more dramatic of a gathering detail. And then what's special about this one is through that sort of like band, that piece that you've sewn on, you actually thread. Um, uh, well, it shows it on the on the pattern here. They've actually used a chain to thread through it, which is a really lovely option. But you could also use a ribbon, or you could make you know like a tie length of out of the fabric that you're choosing. So lots of different options for what you could use for that tie detail. Um, and yeah, and the rest of the dress, you know, is very similar, just very simple, very plain. And then, like I said, view B and D are just the same, but they're a shorter option. So in terms of um, fabrics that this suggests, so it's suggesting batiks, charmeuse, uh, cotton lawn, cotton types, crepe, uh, crepe de chine, lightweight linen types, silky types and voile. So again, lots and lots of uh, fabric options. And for me though, I think for this pattern, because of all that gathering detail at the neckline, and because of how you want it to hang, I think you want a light to medium weight woven that's got lots of drape. Uh, that would be what I would be choosing for this pattern. So the fabric I've chose, I mean this print just absolutely screams like, summer summer holiday it's bright it's bold it isn't it's an in your face print but it's absolutely fabulous and this print so this is our viscose chalet base cloth and this print is called mountain memoir and what an absolutely fabulous statement print that is i think for a summer holiday you know to wear you know when you may be going for a meal and a few drinks at the night at night or you know you're going for a stroll down the beach how beautiful would a dress be in this fabric um, yeah, I just think the colours in it, everything is just so joyful and yeah, I think that will be a wonderful pairing for a summer dress. So the next pattern we've got, so this, I think this pattern is actually one that maybe goes a little bit hidden on the site sometimes, but I think it's beautiful, I think it's a really lovely pattern. So the number is number 667, uh, sorry, 6617. And uh, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know I love a V-neckline, which this pattern has, and I think that's really lovely. And then it has a centre seam down the bodice. Um, now for the shaping, how that's created is from the shoulder seam, um, it has gathers or like, um, yeah, like gathering details here. And then in a slightly curved seam at the waist, 
uh, or just above the uh, below the bust um, it has gathering details into that seam as well so that's how it creates the shaping and it has a side zip to get in and out of it then the skirt itself so that has darts which again that's you know what allows you to create the shaping so it is quite a fitted um, dress at the waist but then the skirt does sort of does flare out a little bit so it's quite a swishy skirt now there's three different views on this pattern and the differences between the three views so view A is the slightly shorter length dress and it just has a plain simple hemline and at the top of the shoulder details it has a tie detail so you tie into a little balls which I think is really sweet then view B is, is uh, identical at the top with those tie details but the difference is it's a longer length dress and it actually has an extra panel that's been like a frilled panel that's been sewn around the bottom and that's the view that they've sewn on the envelope so yeah I think that's really lovely something about the length of that dress I think is just very elegant and beautiful and then view C, so that's um, the bottom of that dress is just the same as view B so it has this um, extra like ruffled panel a flare panel but what's different at the top is that it doesn't have the ties but what it does have are these like extra sort of like frilled panels if you will that just sort of lay over the top of your arm and I think for anybody that you know maybe doesn't like showing the top of their arms they prefer to have those covered that's a really pretty dress you know, it's still going to be lovely and cool and breathable to wear and those little frill details I just think are so pretty um, yeah I think that's a really really lovely option I think it's um, important to mention as well like with view C's you know you may really love that frill option around the top of your arm but you wouldn't have to sew that as it shows with the frill around the bottom you know if you wanted that slightly shorter length hem uh, that's just plain you know you can just mix and match and take the bits you want from each view so suggested fabrics for this one so we're looking at charmeuse cotton lawn crepe crepe de chine double georgette silky types and voile so again lots of different options now i thought the perfect fabric for this and this is one of my personal favorite prints in the uh, minerva collection this is called dynamic brush strokes i love everything about this print <laughs> Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Now this is our 100% cotton sateen base cloth. So sateen doesn't mean it's shiny at all. It just has a really lustrous, expensive weave and finish that just make it silky soft and give it a little bit of added drape for a cotton fabric. So if you think of like a cotton lawn, but it's a little bit heavier, so it's definitely not see-through. So it's like the most versatile fabric ever is this, and it's really lovely and easy to sew, presses like a dream. We love this base cloth. And yeah, I think that would just be gorgeous for that pattern. Um, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna gather up beautifully, and we've got, got those gathered details, it's gonna hang really well. The little balls in it would just be lovely, yeah. It's, it's going to be, it'll be gorgeous for that pattern. So the next pattern we've got, so this is a, a knit pattern. So I wanted to make sure I included something for knits in here. So this one is number 6650 and it's another easy rated pattern. And it does look very simple, this pattern actually. I think it's going to be a really quick, simple sew. So you have two different views on this pattern. Um, they, they both have a, a very simple round neckline. There's two different lengths in the sleeve. So a, a short sleeve or a slightly longer sleeve. And then the main difference is our view A is the simplest one. It literally is, you know, like a fitted, um, a fitted dress um, and just completely plain. But, you know, that lovely shape of that neckline and those sleeves, really, really lovely pattern if you just want a simple knit dress. And then view B, so that's a longer length. It has a slit up the side, which is lovely, and it's going to make it easier to walk in. Um, but the main extra detail is a lovely tie that just fastens at the front. Um, which you know you, you could choose to add that to view A so if you wanted view A the shorter length with the tie you could do that um, and likewise if you wanted view B the longer length of the split but you didn't want to put the tie on you could do that as well so again mix and match pick out the bits you want from each view so fabrics for this, so it's definitely sized for stretch knits only, so you need a, a knit fabric um, and that will be because it has negative ease uh, built into the pattern. So suggested fac fabrics is recommended interlock, jacquard jersey, jersey, um, ITY, ribbon knit and single knit. 
So the fabric, now the, the fabric that it's been made up on the envelope here, I do think it looks lovely in a plain fabric like that. And you know, if you chose a colour that you love to wear, I think it's a very simple, elegant look. However, for such a simple pattern like this, I think it's crying out to be made in a print. You know, I think at a simple patterns, you know, often they just look fabulous in prints, don't they? Uh, you know, it's a really good way to showcase a really lovely print on a simple pattern. So the fabric I've gone for, this is our viscose jersey fabric, and it really is just the most beautiful quality viscose jersey. The weight of this and the way it hangs and drapes, I think is just gonna be gorgeous for this pattern. So this particular print, which I think will be fabulous for summer, this is our Babylon art print. And yeah, it's such a bold graphic print with that gorgeous deep turquoise color beautiful and yeah whichever view you went for on that pattern I think it will be lovely and the fact that this you know viscose jersey has a little bit of drape I think it's gonna it's gonna lay really well that tie detail it's gonna hang really well so the next pattern we've got so this is the second to last pattern now so this is um, a new look number 6373 another easy rated pattern and this pattern actually comes with four different views so you've uh, two jumpsuits or a jumpsuit and a romper and two different dresses so fantastic value pattern now the main you know the one that's shown upon the on the envelope here is the jumpsuit and it's fabulous i love this jumpsuit so this jumpsuit it has a v-neck line it has quite wide um straps that are going to cover a bra strap and then around the neckline it has this like extra panel of fabric that's sewn into that neckline that f that is like a little frill that goes across the bust area so it's not a huge frill you know around that area um but yeah just a lovely little detail then it draws in at the waist with a tie detail and then the legs are just straight legs very simple and plain um yeah really really lovely now view b is just the same but it's shorter so yeah shorts rather than full length trousers on this so more maybe more of a, rump, a romper um, and the other difference is that it has it has thinner more like strappy straps but you could into you know you could change between the two if on the jumpsuit you wanted the thinner straps or if on the romper you wanted the thicker ones you'd be able to alternate those and then view c and d which are both dresses really really lovely dresses so if you see uh, well they both have a v-neck line you have the option again of this thinner strap or the wider strap that's going to cover a bra strap it has bust uh, darts that's going to give some shape and then view c just gently sort of flares out so it's just going to skim over you so very very simple view c and then view d um this has a gathered skirt that goes into like the waistband so yeah two really lovely dresses that i think go a little bit hidden because you only see the line drawing but really lovely styles um, now suggested fabrics for this pattern, so it's recommending batik, chalet, charmeuse, cotton lawn, cotton types, crepe machine, double georgette, gauze, gingham, linen types, silky types and voile. So again, just a phenomenal amount of different types of fabrics you could use. But what you're looking for is a non-stretch woven fabric, light to medium weight. Um, but for me, I think really for any of those views, um, especially the jumpsuit and the romper, but even for the dresses as well, I think you want something with drape, something that's going to hang really nice, especially for that ruffle detail on the jumpsuit. Um, yeah, and even for the dresses, you know, something that's going to hang well. So the fabric that I've chosen, and this print to me just screams summer holiday, I think it's gorgeous. So this is called Schooner Shore, and this is our viscose chalet base cloth. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Just perfect for a summer holiday. All these um, palm trees and the little boats and, you know, the sort of um, sea, the, the beach view on there. Just perfect. Now with this print, you can see, you know, it, it sort of like works in bands across that like down the length of the fabric so I think you would want to you know if I was making this I would want to um, pattern match those at the sides to make sure that the bands matched up at the sides of the garment but I wouldn't if it was me I wouldn't be pattern matching it exactly on the print as well I would literally just want to make sure that those bands ran you know across the body and I think on the frill, if you're making either of the jumpsuit options, you know, you could choose which bits of the print placed on that frill. I think that would be really, really lovely. And then the last pattern for today. So this one is New Look 6507. This is actually one of my mum's favourite patterns of all time for like a summer holiday dress. She's made this a few times now. So this pattern includes four different views um, for tops and dresses and a top. 
and all of them feature like a frill detail of some sort. So view A, for example, well, view A and B are very similar, they're just different lengths, um, and they, they both feature this like elasticated detail that runs like over your shoulder, so that you, um, over the top of your arm really, so your shoulders are exposed, and it has this like frill detail that runs across the front. Really, really lovely. Um, and yeah, view A actually comes with a strap detail as well, so if you wanted to add straps, you can do. And then there's two different lengths in the actual, in the rest of the dress, which is just very, very simple, and just, you know, like gently skimmed, so it's gonna be nice and comfortable to wear, especially in the heat. Then view uh, C, so that has like an asymmetric frill that uh, the frill sort of like runs over one of your shoulders. So one of them's covered and one of them is exposed. And again, very, very simple like the rest of the dress. And then view D, so it's very similar, uh, very uh, well the same really with this identical, with this um, asymmetric uh, ruffle detail. But this is actually a top as opposed to a dress, and it actually has a, a strap detail on on the, the side where your shoulder is exposed. So you could also add that to the the dress option on C if you wanted. You know, if you wanted to have a strap at the other side. So yeah, really, really lovely, and that frill detail. I think it's just really playful and lovely for for summer holidays. So suggested fabrics with this one, so it's suggesting batiks, cali uh, calico, yeah, maybe, <laughs> I don't know if I'd use calico, but uh, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, crepe machine, double georgette, gauze, gingham, linen types, silky types and voile. So again, loads and loads of different options. Um, you know, you want a light to medium weight woven fabric again, doesn't need to be stretchy. Um, so I think, I mean for me though with this, because all of them have that frill detail and just the way the dress hang, you want the dress to hang, I think a fabric with lots of drape is really lovely for this. Um, so the fabric I've chosen is the one on the mannequin here. So this is one of our uh, Minerva exclusive Visco Chalet fabrics and this one is called Rosette Rhythm. And I just think this, th this is one of your newer prints, so you might not have seen this one before. I just think this is so gorgeous. It's like an all over floral print. But the flowers are sort of like stamped, you know, and layered on top of each other. So it almost becomes a little bit abstract. And you definitely wouldn't need to worry about pattern matching or anything on this print. Because it really is just like a, you know, an all over print. I love that there's lots of blue in this print as well. You know, with flashes of other sort of brighter colours. But the blue, um, you know, that's pro prominent. I just think it's a really lovely colour. Um, yeah, and it's just, again, really lovely for a summer holiday. And I think in a, you know, a pattern like that with that lovely frill detail I think it will be really really lovely. So that's all 10 um, patterns and fabrics that I wanted to share with you. So do let me know in the comments which was your favourite uh, pattern and fabric and which is your favourite pairing from today. I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, hopefully, you know, that's just giving you some inspiration, you know, from um, all the patterns in the new look collection. Like I say, a lot of these are bestsellers, but some of them are ones that I've, I think are just hidden gems that I've picked out to share with you. And hopefully, you know, those fabric um, pairings that I've put together, you know, and, and why I've chosen, you know, the explanation is as to why I've chosen them because of the details in the pattern will hopefully help you, you know, pairing patterns and fabrics together in future in your projects. So yeah, just to recap, so all new look patterns are 50% off, they're all half price right now at Minerva and that is only for a limited time, so depending on when you're watching this video, you know, do just check that off is still running. Um, and on top of that, you know, as always at Minerva, we offer free worldwide delivery options and that's always for tracked, you know, super fast delivery. Um, yeah, so, you know, you can, um, there's the option there for free delivery as well. And if you're a Minerva Craft Club member, which, you know, you can choose to join at any time if you wish, um, that always gives you 10% off, even on top of sale prices. So even on the heart... Uh, price new look patterns you know you'll you'd save a further 10% off so yeah I, there's never really been a better time to, to pick up new look patterns so if I've inspired you with any today or um, you know you've got any in your wish list on Minerva you know now's definitely the time to to check out so yeah, I hope you found that inspiring and uh, as always I will tag all these patterns and fabrics below the video so you know you can click on those links and you'll find all the sizing options there, the pricing details and of course the wonderful thing about the Minerva website is that you know people that have shared their makes using these patterns or fabrics, if they've tagged them in their posts they will show on those product pages so you can see what other members of the Minerva community have been making with both these patterns and fabrics and it's always just so inspiring to see you know the fabric 
fabrics and the patterns actually made up on different people and you can read you know all about those sewing experiences people are so generous in the sewing community you know sharing their knowledge and tips uh, and just their you know experience of sewing a pattern or a fabric so yeah there's so much inspiration there to be had um, just by clicking on the products that we'll tag below um, so thank you very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed that and I'll be back again soon with another video filled with fabric and sewing goodness Bye.